Let's go back to the game. All right. So, um, yeah, we got this cool thing. I think this is our final power-up. It doesn't work in the air, but we found that power-up, and uh, I got through some puzzles. Apologies that, um, apologies that I was moving them out and no words were coming out. Can't fix that. I can't reload the save at an earlier point as far as I'm aware. <sighs> right, the cooldown. The cooldown keeps fucking me up. It's a lot longer than you'd expect. Screw this up. There we go. Uh, I assume that's phase one. A bit of a boring phase one. Holy shit. Oh, this is bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna take a few attempts, isn't it? Fuck. Can I actually get up there again? I'm kind of afraid to find out. Ugh. Okay. Maybe I can just warp through the la giant laser too? Well, I just don't want to keep doing this part. I wonder if there's like something I'm missing, or if it's just as simple as avoid the laser beam. Because these take a while to actually... Can you hear the clackety clacks? I'm sure of my PS4 controller there. Oh, I can hold- okay, that's what I was missing. I can hold it. I don't have to- I don't have to clackety-clack. Okay. That certainly speeds things up. A fairly substantial amount. And, okay, yeah, that definitely speeds this fight up some. Oh god, right in, right into where it launches. Great. <laughs> Great! <laughs> so note to self, I guess it launches from the right in the future. Okay, so let's see if it launches from the right every single- it does. And I cannot- it does not seem like I can actually warp through it, or phase through it. Fuck. That's, uh, probably gonna be a problem. Because I'm not sure what to do right now, other than platform, but let's see. I can't- I can't test out the platforming to see how I can possibly get up there. Oh, okay. Oh, oh! Hold on. I use blue around here, and then... Fuck. Okay. Use blue. Chump blue. Chump blue. What am I missing? Oh. Okay, I can do that. I can't grab onto those though, huh? 
Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll just face the laser beam again when we get there. Right, right, I can hold it. Establish that last time. I'm getting very, uh, very destroyed by this simple boss. It's just that big old laser beam. Don't know how to beat it. Also, this is a very boring section, I gotta say. Very boring phase one. Hold on, can I reflect that? Okay, I had to, I had to check. I just had to check. I know it looked orange, not red, but I had to know. And I can go, here comes the laser beam. I don't understand, I don't understand. God damn it, what? Okay, how do I avoid that fucking laser beam? There we go, okay, so I can get up that way. I can get up that way. That's established. Probably should have done that before. You have to time it just right, though. It's gonna be annoying. And then... I'm gonna assume I have to, I have to scale over him completely. So I may as well practice it now. Very fiddly sometimes. Very, very fiddly. Or I'm just not good at this sort of platforming. It's like using invisible forces to platform. Kinda hit and miss. Oh god, I got stuck actually that time. I, I wish they'd let me practice in this sort of room before. Oh, you can just, okay, you can just run up onto him then. Alright, well that makes it a little easier. Let's go ahead and try. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. It's a very, just, very annoying boss fight if you're not extremely uh, great at the platforming. Uh, I think I'm already dead. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. You have to jump, like, right up the block up here. You have to jump up to it, like, just perfectly, and you have to use the blue cloak to just make sure it launches you upward. And it's really not as, um, it's not as simple as it might look. Or it's it's simple it's simple in concept the execution at least with me certainly leaves something to be des uh, desired Now the game's very fun overall, but some of these just puzzles where some of the time, like, 
a few of the time the game goes like full puzzle, and sometimes it goes full platforming. And the full puzzle isn't so bad, you know, because it's the problem with every puzzle game, honestly, is um, if you can't solve it and get frustrated and give up, it no longer is fun. Because you're just, you're just stuck. And that's kind of, you know, not really... You can't really do anything to stop that. Um, the problem with the pure platforming is just that... Look at that, it's so finicky! Oh my god, I have to get it perfect on the first go and I have to jump over him on the first go. Oh my god. That's so hard! <laughs> I don't know what happened there, that was just my, um... That was just my bad. I, don't, I can't even play with the D-pad, I have to play with the analog, which just kind of makes it a little bit more awkward. Because the diagonal movement is not as precise as I would hope. I don't know why I have to play with the, the analog. The D-pad is not used for anything. There you go. God fudging hell, man. Son of a crap. You know what? Time out. Time out. I'm gonna get some energy. Ugh. At this rate, I am not leaving Tesla grad. Like... At this rate, I am not beating this game, because, I mean, look, look at me. This is awful. This isn't even hard. <laughs> this part's just annoying. It's more that I'm just like, I don't have the patience to dodge the laser beam every time because it's not challenging. It's just like, the only hard part about it is you have a little cooldown of about a second before you can blip again. Um, but if anything, I just get impatient and careless. Or sometimes the analog stick is fiddly. Sometimes I'm trying to shoot this beam up and it, uh, sometimes it just causes me to uh, move a tiny bit. Because as we all know, analog sticks don't receive straight up inputs. Super great. <laughs> Anybody who's trying to play a fighting game with a with a pad should know that. Okay, got it that time. If you touch him, you die. If you touch him, you die. Okay, then well fuck, what am I supposed to do? Not that I guess. Okay, what the fuck? <sighs> what am I supposed to do to avoid that massive laser beam? And please don't tell me I could just face through it and was just doing it wrong, because that would be... You know what? You know what, I gotta look this up. I gotta look this up, because I don't understand what my options are, and I am not replaying the exact same, like, laser section every... What is that, about 30 seconds to take down the first phase? That is so boring. I don't know why they designed it this way. I'm just gonna look up the solution. Okay.
let's see. What is the solution to this horrible, horrible puzzle? Okay, so he broke the last... I'm watching somebody play. He broke the last segment. Here comes the laser beam. Oh my god, you just stand in the fucking corner. Oh my god, you literally just stand in the right corner where it just barely can't hit you, apparently. That's all you do. Is that really it? Well, if so, this is a shitty, shitty boss fight. Alright, let's go. Apparently, all you have to do is stand right here. It's literally just a, a positioning spot. That's, that's, that's horrible. That's not, it's not a good puzzle. I had, I've had most, mostly nothing but praise for this game, but the boss fights in general are kind of shitty. This one more so than the rest. Oh, god damn it, god damn it. Okay. That was just bad. I thought I'd explode it. Again, literally just an issue with patience. I just don't have the patience for it. That awkward lapse in control was all due to the analog stick. Oh, I did the exact same thing as last time! Oh my god. This is not fun. Like, this is not a fun fight. Oh my god. Like, if, you, if you've if you seen the other parts of my playthrough of this game, I have mostly praise for it with some minor criticisms about the boss fights being kind of uh, way too repetitive. Like, you just learn the pattern and do the exact same thing every time, basically. Um, which, this boss is so boring, I don't, even, I don't even care to learn the pattern of how those rotate. It's just not worth it. <laughs> but yeah, like, this boss is way worse than the rest of the game. This is awful. This is just awful. Now, from my understanding, all you do is you stand right here. Look at that! That's ridiculous! Like, are you serious? Is that really it? That's- that was it. That was fucking it. Like, you gotta be kidding me. What a shitty boss fight. I would have never figured that out, mind you. Okay, now I don't know what to do. This is new. And then it forces me to replay it from the start, doesn't it? It does. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the worst boss fight in this game. This is the worst, like, segment of this game by far. I'm just gonna watch the playthrough so I know exactly what I need to do. Because I'm not having fun figuring that- I, I mean- it would be fun figuring it out if, if it didn't take a minute to get back to the same spot. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. I know what to do. I probably could have assumed it, but I just kind of, I'm rage quitting on this boss here in the form of like just looking up how to do it. It is not fun. I was pretty psyched about getting this like laser beam here. Our electric laser beam looks really cool, but Unfortunately, we gotta use it on a shitty boss. I still can't believe this is the solution. This is the solution. Like, you, got, you, can, you can do this. You can do that kind of stuff. And the solution is literally to just stand in the corner on the right. On the first block. Like, what? What? That's horrible. Okay, so you just you just stick. Oh, okay, and you stick and you stick and dodge. You stick and dodge appropriately. 
That's all that part is. Okay, cool. Like I said, I could have figured it out myself, but I checked the video just because uh, I don't want to extend this any longer than it has to. If you have like a puzzle type boss or a boss like this, please don't make the first few sections this boring. This is a slog. Like, I'm amazed people who are able to make puzzles this fun in this game also were able to make a boss this sloggy. And I still can't get over this. I still can't... That's the solution. That is... <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. And also, it basically forces you to have to die to figure out how to do it the first time. Like, there's no way anybody could figure that out the first time. To just stand right there. Like, you, you won't know unless you die and see that laser spawns in the exact same spot every time. There we go. Cool. Chipping it away, chipping it away. No, now what? Now what we got? I hope, I hope that's it. That's not it. That's not it. That wasn't it. I just... Damn it! <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. I didn't look up that far into the boss fight, so I actually didn't know that's what would happen. We should at least be able to get to that final uh, phase each time. If there's no other good news, it's that. So we should be able to get to the final phase each time. <sighs> oh, right, right, right. I forgot. I forgot to go to the corner. Oh, this fucking game. Oops. I'm just gonna have a window open with the rest of the game, like a playthrough of the rest of this game. Uh, or speedrun, so that if I get stuck again on a horrible section like this, I can just look it up. Because I'm not. If the final boss is this bad, please let the final boss be cool. But if the final boss is this bad, I'm not ta I'm not trying to do as many like blind attempts as I have here. I did like a good ten blind attempts before I just gave up and looked it up. That is still the most garbage thing I have ever seen. This boss isn't even cool, it's just a, it's just an eyeball, a mechanical eyeball, like... It's really... oh my god. It's really bland. Like, the bird boss was kind of cool. The human boss was, I guess, neat. It had, like, multiple components to it, that fight. But this is just bad on every level. And I don't have the desire to really beat it, which is why, I, again, I'm playing so um, haphazardly and carelessly. Because I kind of don't... I just don't care. Like, this isn't like Mega Man. At least Mega Man has some, like... Like, on Mega Man, you can get stuck on the same boss over and over and over, but it, it feels like... Feels like a challenge and like a real fight each time. This doesn't feel like a real fight. This feels like a time wasting slog. Not something you want out of your boss. you. I want you destroyed. <sighs> Come on. There we go. Alright. Gotta be careful now. Gotta be careful for that laser beam. Not careful enough. Not careful enough. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck.
my cooldown on the blip didn't... I thought it was back, but it wasn't, and great, now I have to do this again. That's another 30 seconds wasted. Fantastic. Just I'm having a blast, Te Tesla grad developers. I'm having a blast. How did you... Here's my issue, I think, with the... Um, with, like, not my issue. Here's how I think the development of this game went down on, like, bosses like this, is I... Since this is, like, an indie team, I doubt they had, like, you know, a large group of, uh, playtesters to test the game out, really. A and I bet, like, when they're designing the boss, they know all the answers, so they're like, yeah, um, conceptually, this seems fine. Um, uh, but then if they- had they have actually given this to enough people to play it blind, like, people will probably say, hey, like, don't make the solution to avoiding the laser beam just be getting on top of this block every single time, and then waiting a full, what is this, like, 15 seconds for the laser beam to end. Like, that's really boring. Don't make the first section, like, a really easy to avoid, but really boring slog of just dodging the laser. At least this part of dodging the laser is a little bit better, but not by much. But that first section is literally nothing but a slog. Like, this isn't that much fun either, but at least there's multiple components to it other than running, like, back and forth. Alright. Uh. It really doesn't seem like I can do anything here except dodge. Yeah, that's it. We just fall. And that's that boss fight. Oh, what a mess. What a mess of a boss fight. Oh, I got captured though. Interesting. That's a cool resolution at least. He, uh, uh he just, okay. I guess the guy had a change of heart. That's the same human I believe that I fought before. Wow, why was that not working? Oh, it's because I have the taser now, right. Okay, I was trying to punch it. I have to actually hold the taser a tiny bit. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Back to the classic game without... Without the bad boss fight. I still don't know what those dogs are all about. That, that, those horrid dog spider creatures. They're so weird. Alright, what do we do here? I mean, probably get that to raise up. Where's our Beetleborg? There it is. Ah, uh, was I not supposed to kill the Beetleborg and therefore I have to go in the other room? Looks like it. Alright, how did I kill it last time? I'll keep going. Keep going over there. There we are. There we are. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, crap. I don't think I was supposed to. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wow, walked into the room, instant death. I mean, makes sense. Where am I going, though? Where am I supposed to go? Where am I right now? I am... I have no idea where I am. Map, could you be a little bit more... There I am, okay. I'm in the one that's blinking. Uh, from the look of things, I should go left, actually. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, I should definitely go left. Definitely been going the wrong way. Alright, back out. Back out. Everybody back out. What is this little glowing thing here? Alright, whatever. Okay. 
Yeah, okay, so I've definitely never been here, because obviously I just picked up a scroll. 15 scrolls to progress- wait, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me right now? No, 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 no. That boss fight ruined, like, all the good faith I had in this game, honestly. I'm feeling very ticked off right now. Um... Do I actually need 15 scrolls to beat the game? How do I check my scrolls? I don't even remember. Here we go. How many scrolls do I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 scrolls and I need 15? Motherfucker. <laughs> really? You gotta be- you gotta be shitting me here. Oh, that's- that's... bad. <laughs> Great. Okay, so I have to find rooms I assume I haven't been in. For one thing, I probably should find rooms I haven't been in. For another thing, I should... I guess I should have collected the scrolls as I went on the ones that I could have gotten in, but didn't. Sh fuck me, man. Okay, I believe that's... Yeah, there's the top of the tower. We went up there. We came down from there. That's all fine and dandy. We fought the eye. We fell all the way back down. Okay, let's, I guess, I guess let's go try to find some scrolls. I don't know. Is this little thing right here, is it telling me anything important? I can't tell. Is there a way to check where the scrolls are? Well, there's one right up there. I think there's one right up there. Yes, there is. You know, it would have been great if um, there is a way to check scrolls you've seen on the map. Um, so I didn't have to just blindly wander through this game. Like, I'm legit a little frustrated. I mean, one, the boss fight was horrible, but two, why would you make it like, like, like a Mario game where I'm just now supposed to go scroll collecting? I'm gonna check the speedrun real quick, and I assume the speedrunner already had 15 scrolls. Thombo1, this is not a new game. I played this several times before. I'm actually pretty close to the end game, and I just want to finish it off, but apparently to get to the final boss, I have to have collected like 15 scrolls, which are just collectibles hidden throughout the different rooms. And uh, the game doesn't tell me where the scrolls I've seen but haven't picked up are, and I need like six more. So, um, you know what, I might just not finish the game on, on stream because... Because I don't want to retread through every single room I've already done to find scrolls I've seen. Like, that's... Plus, the last boss fight, uh, you missed the entire last boss fight. It was bad. It was a terrible, boring slog of a boss fight. Um. Okay, let's see. Now, watching a speedrun of this game is pretty cool, though. They're doing a lot of neat tactics. Okay, so they actually, um, they actually went, I just watched a YouTube video, because, like, I'm not doing all this by myself. They actually went the way I originally thought was the wrong way, which is this way. They did some cool tech too. Like, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can replicate the tech. It was like they got this to drop, and then they like used or I don't know what they. Okay, well fuck it. Never mind. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. It's too late for me. I'm already dead. Um, I have to go the long way around. 
But yeah, apparently there's some cool speedrun tech in the game. I'll give it that. Um, it's actually a really cool game overall. It's just I'm incredibly salty because the boss fight was bad and I don't like how I'm being forced to progress. But yeah, they actually went this way and just... Um, yeah, they went down this way and, I don't know, found some stuff. So let's... Uh, let's just go this way, I guess. Where are we on the map right now, anyway? We're right here, okay. Fuck. Magnets! Alright, I touch those guys and I become, um... I become their polarity for a little while. I have to avoid doing that. Here we go, this is where they were. This Is this on my map? This is on my map. That's cool. I guess. I... I I, I haven't been here before, but it shows me that I have on the map, which is really awkward, because it implies there's a lot of secret areas that, um, that you have, basically, basically there's secret areas in the game that will not be revealed by, by being on the map. Like, I can't just look at the map and look where I haven't been to know where to go. Not that easy, unfortunately. But, but yeah, I don't remember being in this area before. If, if I was... I definitely didn't get that scroll, and I'm not quite sure how to get it now. <laughs> I have to go up somehow. This is as up as it goes though, there's the ceiling of the room. So I have, to, I have to land right there on that platform. No, this would not- Oh, fuck. Fuck me. This would not be hard if it wasn't dark. <laughs> okay. I have to land right there. I said right there. Okay. And then... Okay, here we go. Is that is that it? Is that it? Up! Oh, up! The... <laughs> This game went from being fun puzzles to very frustrating, um, just like scenarios that were, that feel like they were developed to frustrate the player real quick. There we go, got one, got one. Cool. I think I need like, five more. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go at this point. Can I break that? Nope, just a mural. Oh, actually, that mural implies they fought those uh, horrible dog monsters with the laser blasts, which does raise the question of, can I do that? Looks like I can? Yep, okay. Well, the dog monsters aren't a threat anymore, that's for sure. That's kind of neat, I guess. Where am I? I'm not where I'm supposed to be is where I am. Let's get out of here. Yeah, okay, at this point, I don't know where I'm going anymore. This game went from being fun to not fun so unbelievably fast, I still kind of can't get over it. Like, man, like, I guess it illustrates all it takes is one terrible, terrible boss fight. And, uh, you can just ruin all the goodwill your game has created up to that point. Well, rather, it's a terrible boss fight and a fucking awkward, awkward desi design choice of, uh, requiring collectibles to get to a certain part of the game in a game that's not like, like Mario 64. Okay, that's fine, you know? There's multiple levels in Mario 64 that you can pick, like, from the main menu. Uh, or the main hub world, rather. You know, that's fine. Uh, get and, and you know which stars you've cleared and which you haven't. So that's perfectly cool. I have no problems with that. 
this game, um, is all one big fuck. It's all one big fuck! It's all one, like, one world interconnected. I don't think there's even a... I don't even think there's a... An ability to... Warp between rooms. I don't think there is. Like, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go right now. In fact, let's consult the... the let's consult the speedrun, why not? Let's see what they do. Uh... Okay, well, great. They went to an area of the game I missed, which just goes to show always consult the speedrun no matter what at all times. Uh, for games like this, at least. Oh, well, cool. We got one scroll. Neat. Can we, no, can we get out without dying? I really, I really, really, really just want to go back to the main starting screen at this point. Uh, because, yeah, there's uh, there's a scroll in the, in the dark room where I was before. There is a scroll in there that I totally missed. Here we go. We're, we're getting back there. No. Get rid of you. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Apparently you can't blast them from off screen. They have to be kind of beyond the screen for you to blast them. I'm still salty over that boss, I gotta say. Oh, he was ducking, that's why it didn't work. I hope, like, somebody watching this in the future at some point, like, remembers... Like, I hope somebody watching this in the future is watching this all in one big go. So they have, like, fresh in their mind how much I was enjoying the start of the game. Before all the bullshit. Can I not shoot while climbing the vine? It seems like I can't shoot while climbing the vine. Great. Great, great, awesome, thanks game. Awesome, like, fantastic. Just fucking fantastic. I, uh, fuck, this is frustrating. I mean, I hit the checkpoint, I don't even care anymore, fuck it. Keep eating me. I don't give a fuck. God, this is just a salty ass stream. Such a salty stream. Get out of here. Fucking hell. Alright. Back in the black room where I wanted to be. We gotta trek through all of it. Again. Hope I don't fall or have to start over. Here we go. Okay. There was a scroll here. I believe. Somewhere. Are you- Oh, I already- No, it's, it's right up there. I see it. It's right up there. Okay, yeah, just stand there, that's cool. Okay. Why can't I get to it? Is it because the blue and the red counters each other out? And I have to press that blue and make it red as well? Seems like it. It's not too hard, luckily. And I remember when I first got this blip ability, and I was like losing my shit about how cool it is. It's still cool, but... 
Or did I just crush the scroll? Nope, scroll's right there. Cool. There we go. All right. Um, let's consult the speedrun so I don't go the wrong way again. He's going, he's going back to the start of where you fell down after fighting the orb. The terrible, terrible orb. Oh, then he went a different way. Great. No, okay, he came back to the start. He went up one floor. And, uh... Alright. Well... Let's do let's let's emulate as as this person is doing cuz I don't know where to go myself. Ha. I didn't realize the game would have backtracking. Like had I realized the game would have so much backtracking, I probably wouldn't have played it for for stream. Um, but now that I'm here, I kind of want to finish it. And apparently I have been in this dark room before. It seems like I have. The game is treating me like I've been here before. But who knows. Alright, so we go back out. Go back out. To the start. Up this way. And yeah, yeah. Okay, there's a scroll right there. How many scrolls we got? Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We need 3 more. After that one, 2 more. Alright, let's see how this person gets this scroll. Actually, hold on. They got a completely different scroll. Alright, bear with me guys. I just, I feel like I have an obligation to finish this game because I'm so far into it. Okay, they did not go up here, did they? Hold on a sec. Okay, hold on a sec. What are they doing? Okay, I have no idea what they just did. They did some weird shit. They're doing some weird shit. I should probably stream this as well, but like... You know what, it's fine. That's enough. That's enough checking the playthrough. Okay. Yeah, I... I don't know, man. Let's... Let's see if we can somehow get that... Let's see if we can somehow get that scroll that was over here. Like, how would I get up there?
like, I cannot ride the plat. I mean, I cannot, like, grab onto the curtains or anything, so most likely I have to go over here and then drop down from somewhere else, right? Right? Yes, 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 okay, well, cool, at least we got that. I guess let's keep going. Let's just keep going and do it blind. Pretend this is not very annoying backtracking, I guess. <sighs> what do you do? I guess that's what you do. That's cool. Something tells me I'm not supposed to be here, maybe? Is this the st this is the start of the game. Yo, this is the start of the game. I remember this scene. This looked really nice. And there's the gate. There's the gate to Castle Tuslegrad. I want out, man. I want out. I don't want to be in here anymore. I gotta be honest. I, uh... <sighs> I am, um... I'm at my, like, wit's end with this game. Well, not wit's end, but, like, my, my patience is, uh, drawn quite, been drawn quite thin. Alright, we can go through here, right? Oh! Scroll! Scroll! Fucking scroll, that's cool. This is a really neat looking, uh, area, may I add. Very pretty. Um, we should be very close, then, to having 15. And god, I hope I don't need more than 15. I can't believe I have to wait for that. Okay. Yeah, we should... I had 12, I picked up 1, 2. I, I theoretically need just a single single scroll more. God damn it. Okay. Alright, let's go up to the next level and see if we can get anything out of it, I guess. Please tell me there's a scroll nearby. I already pressed this button. Oh, no, I didn't. There we go. What did that achieve? Excuse me, what did that actually achieve? Did that achieve anything? I'm not sure. Wait, and I was right... I was just in this room, right? Yeah, I was. Okay. Well, it turned off the electricity, and the electricity looks like it's staying off, but I don't know what that's going to accomplish. Okay, let's go to the next one right here. What do we got? Oh, I was here already. I got this scroll. I think. Yeah, I think I was here already. Let's fuck. Let's... <sighs> let's just go up until we see another room we can go into, I guess. Right, right, that's just death. That's just death. Cool. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll find a room that's, uh, that has that, like, metal plating over it. That I can only, like, I, I was only able to bust the metal plating open after I got that laser beam power. So the metal plating would indicate that, like, hey, I haven't been here before, maybe? Maybe? <laughs> if I get lucky? Oh, God. Oh, I fucked up. It's gonna take a while to get my uh, acceleration back, so let's just enjoy the ride. Uh, I've been making, uh, I mean, small chat. I've been making my um, stream overlay for Dragon Ball Fighters when it comes out because since it's a fighting game, I can't really afford to take up space of the game itself like I, I can with these games. Um. Oh, here we go. So yeah, I'm. Um, so I worked on that. And, uh, it's coming out pretty cool. I, I like how it looks. Uh, I'm excited for you all to see it when the beta drops. Because it's, like, the first, like, major overlay I have. Oh, fuck, what? No. What? No. Why did I just all of a sudden lose... What? Oh, I... I thought this was, like, a shortcut all the way up, but it seems like the... The, the juice expires right around here. Oh, and then you climb. Okay, well, great, because uh, 
the scroll that I launched there, you have to get it uh, within a certain time limit. And if you don't... Or maybe you just have to not die, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you just have to not die. Before, it seemed like I didn't get there in time and the scroll was gone. But let's give it another shot. Just waiting, 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 waiting. Sorry, I, I guess I didn't have to fall all the way down. And then the first time I was up here and I ran out of juice, I didn't notice this ladder. But yeah, honestly, I'm pretty sure that scroll is probably gone by now. I try to get that scroll before. You, basically, if you take the alternate route to my left there that you see, you have to bypass a bunch of obstacles and just play very carefully. And the scroll should end up right over there, but it's not there, so I don't know. Let's kill ourselves and try again. Great. Wonderful. Oh my god, and do I have to... Of course I do. Of course I would have to... Uh... Descend back down, huh? Of course I would. I feel like you don't even fall fast enough. Okay. Here we go. Here's the scroll. Right? The scroll's on its way up. On its way up. We go through the shortcut. Hopefully we're going faster than the scroll at a, you know, substantial enough pace. Cool. Now we climb. And I hope we're climbing fast enough to get that scroll as it comes up, because, oh boy, I do not want to do that again. Uh, I hope this is scroll 15. This might be scroll 15. Aka Fire once. hi, uh... I've been having a terrible stream session and a terrible week. Depression's been hitting me really hard. And, um, as far as this game goes... Oh god, I just killed myself. Great, great, great. As far as this game goes, I, ha I just fought a super, super boring boss fight. Um... And then I found out I have to retread a bunch of the game to collect uh, collectibles in order to actually get to the last level of the game. And I'm not too happy about that either. And uh, now you're pretty much caught up with my day and my week. <laughs> it's been bad. It's been quite bad. Hope you're doing better. But yeah, main reason the Adventure Time reviews, uh, well, Adventure Time reviews, even my Kevin review isn't out yet. Well, excuse me. Even my Kevin Party review isn't out yet. And that's mostly because, like, these past three days have been really, really terrible. I've just been feeling in the dumps, uh, super tired. I, I stayed in bed pretty much all day yesterday, at least the first half of the day. It was fuck! Damn it! Oh my god! Gotta redo this section. But yeah, I just stayed in bed and pretty much did nothing. It was a terrible day. Alright, let's kill ourselves. I should have killed myself on the fall down. This scroll is so annoying, and I'm doing the easy version, and I still- Oh my god, it still put me up there. I died near the ground, it still put me way the fuck up here. Are you kidding me, game? This game is amazing front-loaded, like about 60% of the way through, it is a fun little charming awesome game that was like 99 cents on Steam for a while and was like a steal. Uh, but then they like, like the, uh, I didn't jump quite right, the end load of the game is just awful, like, the boss is, the boss is bad, <laughs> then you're forced to retread what you've already done, and, and like, these, uh, these platforming sections are both boring and and incredibly time-consuming. Like, incredibly time-consuming. And, the, like, time-consuming is one thing, but this isn't fun. I'm climbing upward for about 20 seconds as part of a puzzle that I'll probably fail. Or not puzzle, but as part of, like, a mission that I'll- OH MY GOD! I FUCKING BOTCHED IT AGAIN! Ah. <sighs> Great, now I'm dead. Great, now I have to do it again. 
Awesome. I hope you guys enjoy me falling for uh, falling and climbing for 20 seconds at a time. Oh, great. 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 Fucking great. Fucking, fucking sick, man. Fucking sick. I can't even get back to the place where I have to fall back down and press this what Like, this is horse shit. This is some horse shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even get back to the part that lets me fall without dying back down to the bottom to press the switch to do this fucking puzzle. <sighs> this is like the like I was depressed for the past three days and yet I wasn't this frustrated, <laughs> which is weird because usually I get very irritable. But um, yeah, this is this is garbage. I don't know how a game that started this fun could like, degenerate into such tedium. Like, did they just fucking not bother having anybody playtest the second half of the game? Or, like, the, the, maybe the final third, more like. Like, they, they, they had to have just not had any of their friends or family or whatever not, like, play, like, they couldn't have had people who would never touched this game playtest it all the way through. Because there's no way they would have kept these stupid ass sections that take four fucking ever. <sighs> I'm just so salty. Um. I mean, what first? Oh my god! Oh my god! I really want to finish this game I caught fire once. Like, I'm not having fun. But uh, the problem is, see, I was having fun at first when I did the first two sections. Like, I'm really close to the end game. I actually need just one more scroll. <sighs> I need one more scroll to open up the pathway to the final boss, I would imagine, I hope. If it's not the final boss, um, well, okay, if it's not the final boss, I hope it's close to the final boss, right? But if, if it's, if there's still a lot more of the game left, I just hope I don't have to go scroll hunting again. There's these collectibles that I thought were pure collectibles. Had I known they were not pure collectibles, I probably wouldn't have skipped so many of them. All right, all right, let's do this, let's do this. I feel good about this one. I feel good about this one. Let's not fuck this one up. This this isn't even hard, it's just like, th there's like a combined 40 seconds of nothing, and then two seconds where your actions, there's, there's like a two second window where if you fuck up, you have to redo the 40 seconds of nothing. <laughs> Also, it's not like I'm against streaming games I hate. Like, I'm down a, I'm down a hate stream a few times. It might be fun. It just really, really. Oh, come on! Please go up. Please go up. Please go up at a faster rate than this. Where is that scroll? No, legit. Where is the scroll? I thought it. Where is the scroll? Does it keep going up? Oh no! Where is the scroll? Ah uh, ah! Uh, oh God! I, I, how am I supposed to get that scroll? I don't think I can. I actually don't think I'm good enough to get that scroll. Let's just fall back down, I guess. Like, the game won't even let me go back down. <laughs> the game forces me to do this alternate route to go back down. Okay. Well, fuck it then. We're skipping that scroll. Let's try to get another scroll. Because uh, that is just... That is- that seems so hard to do. Can I like blast it? I can't even blast it. Okay. Let's- let's just go try to find another one. Wait, what do I do here? I'm so confused. What do I do here? Uh... I have a, I have a feeling I'm not supposed to do it- yeah, I'm not supposed to do that one from that side of the room. I think I'm supposed to get to it some other way. There we go, okay. Use my cloak to magnetize that block upward. 
So that one will touch that one, and uh, hopefully stuff will happen. Yes, please. Okay. Did he just get stuck? Oh my god, he just got stuck. Okay, there we go. No, 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 don't go the other way. No, don't go that way. Ah, fuck. Don't go that way. Ah. <laughs> oh, he's gonna kill himself, actually. Hold on. There we go. Alright. Oh my god. There we go. Little stupid... Little stupid idiot. Okay, now what? Now I wait? I think now I just wait. These are all puzzles I've done before. Oh wait, did he just die? No, there there it goes. Okay. Alright, we're 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 home free. Thank god. We gotta get up to that ball. There is um Woo! Right, I remember this section. Gotta, whoop, gotta, oop, sorry. Gotta drag the ball over like this. And then, and, and then drag the ball some more. And then, there you go. And then. Oh, no, 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 don't. Ah! If it goes too far and you, you didn't get on the ladder, you have to restart. Alright. There we go. Whew. Okay. Oh, god damn it. I... I didn't look where I was going. Yeah, th I caught fire once, thanks. I, like, um, he's telling me I don't have to finish it if I'm not feeling well. It's not so much that, like, I'm feeling better today. Yesterday was, like, the, the peak of how terrible I felt. Today I'm feeling a bit better, but also, like, if I play if I play video games, it's not like I'm really focusing on feeling terrible for the most part, unless I'm, like, raging at the game. Like, honestly, video games and, like, TV shows are a good form of escapism. Oh, no, the ball's gone. The ball's gone! No, 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 no! God damn it. But yeah, video games and like TV shows are usually a good form of escapism from feeling bad. It's just, it. I have a really hard time being productive when I'm really depressed, that's all. So e even if I was depressed today, which I'm not nearly as bad as yesterday, um, or feeling depressed rather, because depression is like a, you know, a chronic condition. But anyway, um, even if I was feeling bad today, it's like, it's fine if a game is making me angry. It's more, it, like, I, I would feel angry no matter what, just because like, the game started out so well, and it was like such a charming, fun little puzzle game. Um, and then just in the final, like, in the final sprint of it all, basically. Why can I... <sighs> Sorry that I keep opening the map. I should... Okay, that's it. I'm changing what the buttons are mapped to real quick. I have L2 as menu. Let's, um, remap that. First of all, Red Cloak... Cloak blue, make that this, and then map, menu, make that R2, map, L2 is fine. Alright, cool. Let's see. Blue cloak, red cloak. Cool. Map, menu. Alright, I'm happy with that. Uh, anyway, let's just, let's just get, let's get one more scroll, and if the game doesn't let me progress... Sorry, I'm gonna, it's gonna take me a while. This is blue now. Okay. But yeah, if, if um, the game doesn't let me progress after I get that one more scroll and uh, get my progression going, then I will... Sorry, this is really awkward. I've been playing the game with uh, R1 and R2 being the, the cloak colors, and now that it's different, I'm actually having kind of a little bit of a tough time adjusting. I should have been playing like this the whole time. It's way better when they're each one trigger. Okay, so I think I just jump. Okay, that's all it is. That's all it is. I turn blue, I jump, I get a little boost on my jump, and that allows me to get up here. 
Oh, fuck. Wait a second. I can't... I'm an idiot. I don't uh, jump across that section. I have to use the ball once it goes upward to also clear that section. Right. It's all coming back to me. What's really sad is I've done I've done this once and I still apparently can't remember quite how to do it right. So here we go. The ball goes up, right? And then... Oh, God. Okay. Well... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Just frying this child over and over and over. I thought I knew what I was doing, but now I'm not so sure. I think I still have the right idea where I have to use the ball over here to actually clear it. I think. See, the ball's blue, right? Opposites attract, ball's blue. Yeah, ball's blue. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I was right. I was right. No, no, I, I, I got it. All right, here's the scroll up there. Um, how do I get to it? That's the question. I do have this laser beam now, so I didn't have that before, but I don't think that really helps me. I don't think that really helps me much. Whoops. Okay. So you gotta get the ball out. Whoop. Sorry, sorry. Okay. There has to be a way to do this. <clears throat> La last time I tried using the ball itself and it actually did not work like at all. But let's try getting the ball closer at least. Well, the ball's always red, right? See, my thought is I have to, like... Ah, fuck. My thought is I simply have to, like, jump up here somehow. Oh, no, 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 no not like that, not like that, not like that. Ah. Oh, that was cool. I avoided death, just barely. Alright. Hold on. Um, let me just look up how to do this, because this is going to take me forever. videos that are like 20 minutes long that include the ball as a part of their thumbnail. Let's see. Okay, I'm watching one person try this room, which I already know how to clear the room. Clearing the room is actually pretty easy. But does this person a ever get the scroll? Oh my god, this person doesn't even get the scroll. That was all worthless. I should have just clicked the speed run from before. How about, like, Tesla Grad's scroll guide? Alright. Let's see. Do, 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 do. My apologies. I will be right back. Alright, I'm watching this person try to do it. The ball is in the left corner, the red ball. I don't know if that matters. Oh, interesting. It's literally just like... It's an issue with magnetism, I think. It's just you have to use the magnetism just right. So, let's see now. You... This, this is the setup you want. 
And then it looked like he did this and like just zapped. And he managed to somehow get up there. Right, okay, so it's when you jump, like, like here you have a lot of up momentum. What you have to simply do is you have to zap and maintain that up momentum. I think that's what it was. Oh, yeah, kind of like that. Way trickier than it has any right to be. Because I don't, like... Unless you know it's possible, I don't know how you would figure this out on your own. There we go. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We did it. Fucking did it. Um, I mean, I guess, okay, may as well, may as well leave this room, because I know for sure, okay, how did I leave the room before? I believe, there we go, I believe I did something like this, and then, whoop. Oh, that's gonna be annoying, I'm sorry. I'm so used to R2 being the thing. Okay. So jump. Oh, forgot to hold it. Forgot to hold it. Okay. So. And. Eh. Well. That is, that is one way to do it, because I've done that before that way, so let's just... Let's try again. There we go. Woo! Almost killed myself unnecessarily. Um, now the question is, how do I drop down without killing myself again? Which I believe the answer is blue. I believe the answer is use the blue. Yep, all right, cool, we're out. Um, now, I believe we should have 15 scrolls. I fucking hope, let's check. Why not? Well, I guess it's a little too late, huh? Um, where's our scrolls, there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 scrolls, all right. So, the room that said I need 15 scrolls, please open. Oh, here we go, here we go, here it goes. There it goes, okay. If I have 36 scrolls, which I assume is all of them, uh, question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, that looks like a bonus thing. I hope that's a bonus thing. And what is this contraption? Uh... Is this a teleporter? Hold on a sec, sorry, what? Wait, 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 please don't tell me I need all 36 scrolls. Did I do all that just to get to this room? Oh no, oh no, 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 hold on a second here. I'm just gonna look up some research because I don't know where to go. scrolls only because I'm looking at like an awesome games done quick thing and it says you know the game is beaten with 15 scrolls so let's 
Okay, so he goes into the thing. He's where I am. Get zapped. Oh, hold on. I can just destroy this. Well... Well, don't I feel like an idiot? Okay, I could have just simply destroyed this wall the whole time. Awesome. Okay, so we are on our way to the final boss. Let's get the fuck out of Telsigrad. Like... The title was sub oh, well, those just one hit shot me. Okay, the title was supposed to be in jest, like haha, let's get the hell out of Teslagrad, uh, cause I'm done with the game now. But uh, like for real, let's get the hell out of this godforsaken area and this godforsaken game, which was so fun when we started, but no longer is. So <sighs> these Russian-inspired. Security guards are uh, destroying me. Can I kill them with this? I feel like I should be able to kill them. Let's try. I can literally kill them. Wow. Okay then. I think I just killed all three off screen. <laughs> oh wow. Interesting, interesting. Let's try jumping over this then, huh? There we go. And you guys burn! Wow, I didn't think our main character would actually just be vaporizing uh, actual, you know, dudes, but here we go. There's the king. Wow, that is actually pretty goddamn violent. <laughs> for a children's game. I mean, it's not a children's game, but like for a game that's child friendly, this is. At least we don't see their skeletons, right? Okay, well this is like new parts of the game I haven't been to yet, so this is actually pretty fun. What am I supposed to do right now? Okay, there we go. Same thing as before, I guess? But not die. Same thing as before, but not die. Alright, let's, I guess... I don't know, should we wait for it to go all the way down, or just right here? Maybe we have to do it before it starts descending the stairs, because maybe it just gets really hard. Yeah, maybe it just gets really hard once it actually starts going down the- WHAT?! He spawned on my head, and I insta-died. That was some um, crap. <laughs> he didn't even touch but He didn't even touch me, he just spawned on my head, and I was dead. Crap! Oh, this is this is bad. I don't actually know if I can beat it now. Theoretically, I should be able to. Yep, there we go. All right, now. Are you just gonna land on? Are you gonna spawn on my head again? Okay, no, good. Okay, so like, yeah, people, people in squalor and stuff, they're the mad. The king's like, yo, I'm the holy one. I'll fix your problems. And these guys over here, which I guess I'm part of the cult of, are all sour about it. Here's some of those weird dog skulls. It's just, is that a? What is? Is that a? Is that like a gargoyle pig above that deer? What is that? It's horrible. Uh. Got more paintings, just generic. There's the king, and I'm dead. <laughs> he bowsered me. Oh, I'm not dead. That was supposed to happen. Okay. He uh, put me in a dungeon. What do I do? What do I do now? There's another wall I can bust open, thank God. <laughs> I think that's the guy who delivered me to a household, um, the, I think that's the guy who, um, you see in the title screen, basically when I was a baby, he delivered me to this house outside of the castle, I guess to hide the fact that I'm one of these people of the electric cult, of the Tesla cult, and I guess he, uh, also tried to fight the king, and then also got, uh, knocked down here, and he didn't have strong child legs like me, so I guess his legs probably broke and he died. Or, I don't know. Or, no, wait, hold on. No, no, no. Me no, this is just a dungeon. Hold on. He was just a prisoner here, and he didn't have this awesome blast ray. So he couldn't break this wall, and maybe that's how he died. Regardless, my father is dead. That is the point. Also, I cannot see a fucking thing. 
Am I even going forward? What? Where am I? Okay, let's go to the right, I guess. Can we shoot our gun? I can't shoot my gun. This is very awkward. Okay, here we go. Why can't I shoot it right now? Okay, there we go. I am so confused as to where I am supposed to go right now. It is just pure black. Is this like... <laughs> do I have to do this? Like, do I have to do this pitch black puzzle here? Is it is it really necessary? I really don't want to do this. <laughs> like... Where do I go? I, I oh okay okay I'm out I think wait hold on okay I think I'm going to a new place or is this the old place no no wait no this is still where my daddy's dead my daddy's dead over here so never mind oh and there's his picture yeah I guess he was a member of the cult or something and it, I guess it's implied he married somebody outside the cult I'm calling them a cult. They're not really a cult. They're supposed to be the, the good guys. I don't know why this little guy showed up. I guess he's just trying to help me. Ooh. Oh, that guy's been dead for a while. Yeah, maybe maybe the, the little floating fairy thing, whatever this is. The little... I, I don't know what this is. The moth? Maybe it was supposed to come earlier and just didn't and kind of fucked me over. Oh, it's a dog. These, uh, kill me. Oh. More dogs. They're not really a challenge once I can kill them with this. In the beginning of the game, they were a challenge because they were basically a puzzle that I had to get through. But now that I have the blast ray, it's just literally blast them. Yeah, the game really kind of loses its sense of charm and fun <laughs> in this last third. Okay, what do I do? Oh, it's the guy who saved me earlier. He's helping me betray the king. That's cool. I got a man on the inside. No mission against a horrible tyrant is ever conquered without a man on the inside. What does that say? S I have no idea what that says. I don't know if that's a make-believe language or not. Is there anything on this side before I go to the right? Oh, isn't this where I fought the king before? No, it's not. What is this place? I could go two different ways. Interesting. 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 Oh, potions. If you crush people and get their essence, uh, you will stay young. He is crushing people to not, to not die. He's trying to regain his youth by literally crushing people. Cool. Aren't you the awesome villain? Oh, here you are. Hello. Interesting. From my understanding, this is also an annoying boss fight, but we'll see. I'm having more fun than before so far. Oh god, okay. Well. Well done. What am I supposed to do right now? I feel like there should be something I'm doing other than just evading. 
but uh, I don't know. Let's evade for a while. Maybe, maybe it is just pure evasion. Uh, can I not zap through that? Hold the phone. All right. What does this boss fight want of me? Other than to not get hit. No, I can zap through that. Okay, so that's just the that's just the first phase is literally avoid him. Whoa. Oh, and that kills me. Or uh or I missed time in the dodge, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, this is going to get annoying really fast. That sound effect, the fact that I have to do the same thing for a while before he actually comes out. And he fries me. Okay. Note to self, don't let him reflect it back at you. I don't actually can just run to avoid this. That's really kind of weird. Whoa, this is new. Wait, did he reflect? How did I die? I didn't. He didn't reflect it down at me. How did I die that time? I mi I missed how I died entirely. Oh god. Okay, this is gonna be a long fight, but uh, the end of the game is at hand. So there's that. I can dodge it. Good to know. I wonder if I'm just prim Yo, anybody watching the stream? Oh, let me watch my own stream. No, he, he just reflected it. He, he happened to reflect it super well. That's how I died. It, it looked like he, he, you know, reflects it over time, and if you do it too much, then he uh, kills you. Uh, but that time, he just kind of, after a few tries, just sent it straight at me. It was a little awkward. I'm starting to think all I can do right now is dodge him. I really don't see much of an alternative. Hmm. That is finicky. That is finicky. I don't want to call it precise, because it doesn't feel precise. It feels finicky. I mean, they're, they're speed runs of the game, so clearly there is a level of precision, but I bet they're playing with a D-pad, and I have to use the analog right now. Because it won't let me use the D-pad to move. Ah, oh, fuck. I went the wrong way. Thank you, analog stick. <laughs> Fucking me over again. Um, hold on. Let, let's see if it's my fault. Maybe, maybe I can map it to to, to D-pad. <laughs> this late in the game, maybe it'll let me map it to D-pad. Left, left. Oh, it does. Okay. Let's try it with D-pad. <laughs> I've been blaming the game the whole time for not letting me use it, but ideally, I'd want to be able to use both. Like, you know, depending on the situation, I'd prefer. Oh, it feels awkward with the D-pad now that I've been using the analog the entire game. Well, let's, let's give it a shot. It does feel more precise. I'll give it that. Got it. Got it. Oh. Stuff's happening. Yo! Yo! What was I supposed to do there? <sighs> this is what's frustrating about the boss fights, though, is that... Um, basically, you can die at every new phase of it when you don't know what it is. And then you're fo uh, you're forced to redo the old phase. Like, It's exactly the same each time, more or less. There's a few minor variations that can happen, but for the most part, it's exactly the same. 
so it gets boring real quickly. This isn't as bad as the orb fight. The last boss fight was the worst in the game by far. This one is nowhere near as bad, but it's still kind of boring. D-pad is helping me. I wish I was using it before. Alright, can I like... Nope. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Okay. <sighs> Let's give it one more shot and then I'll watch a video. Uh, you definitely die in one hit in this game. Like, it's it's old school in that way. You die in one hit. What one mistake and you have to redo everything from the start. So that's just how it is. And this this is incredibly easy. I don't even know why this part of it, unless he combines it with other stuff later. Like, I okay. I'm gonna watch a video. <laughs> I'm gonna just check out a quick video of what I'm supposed to do, cause, uh, woof, cause woof, 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 woof. Wait a second, holy shit, the speedrun I'm watching, he just kinda glitched through the boss fight and didn't, he didn't do it. Hold on a second, what? Hold the phone. Hold the phone, the guy just zaps through the level. And doesn't even fight the king. Wait, what? Okay, the guy I'm watching just... He just went through the level without the king activating. I don't know what that was a... I don't know what happened. Okay. <laughs> Let's try Tesla grab final boss. How about that? How about that? Oh, duh. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. I got it. Um, I think I have at least. Um, because those I should have I should have known the the red and blue things appear on the ground. It. Uh, the red and blue things appear on the ground, which means I can get extra hops. When I cloakify the appropriate color, that's all it was. I just have to cloak and jump over the sword attack. All right, we got this, I think. I hope. So yeah, if I turn red and jump, oh wait, uh, uh Opposites attract, likes repel. I did the wrong color. My bad. All right, fast one. There we go. What are you gonna do this time? Same thing. Cool. This, this boss is actually really easy for the most part. <laughs> for the most part. It's actually kind of bullshit because literally the only reason it's hard is if you dodge a fraction of a second too early, you die against that, uh, that, that shock wave. It's kind of, it's kind of crap. You just gotta, you gotta do the blip last second or else you will die. It's literally the only part of why this is hard. It's a pretty undynamic boss fight, honestly. I'm kind of disappointed. Okay. Wait. There we go. And then you blast, from my understanding. Yeah, there you go. Now what's he gonna do? Same stuff? Oh god! Oh god! Well... He blow—he blows bubbles, apparently. He blows bubbles. 
I, I assume I can just pop them, and if I can't, I'll check the I'll check a video of this. I'll check a video of someone else doing it. All right, do your thing. Sorry, I was fucking around. Okay, after this, I'm definitely gonna play like an action game. I think I'm gonna download Fury and play Fury after this. I was gonna finish Limbo, but I honestly don't feel like doing another puzzle game. So, yeah, I think we're gonna do Fury. I feel like something fast paced and like, you know, fun after the kind of slow. After this. <laughs> Okay, opposites attract. Yep. Did it way too early, but it's fine. Blast his butt. Here he comes. Bubbles. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna check how to avoid the bubbles. Oh, okay. Well then. I know how to avoid the bubbles now. You just teleported the last second out of them. Let me see what else is in this boss fight so I don't constantly have to figure it out as I go, because, uh Okay. Okay, it seems pretty straightforward. I think the the there's there's a, like a rotating sword move he does, and that's the only other new attack he gains. God. I don't know how I went from loving this game to just <laughs> being so aggravated with it so fast. All it took was one bad boss fight and then uh, forcing me to retread what I've already done. And, and just all my enjoyment has been sucked out. I think if this is like, if this was all that was left in the game, I might have, I still have enjoyed it, you know? But. Like, if from the moment I came back to this, if from the moment I came back and st streamed the game, if this is all I had, it might have still been fine. But, uh, I am not having fun. Okay, so this is the... This, this is the other... Yeah, okay. That's the only new thing that happens as far as my understanding goes. I mean, he gets more powerful, but his attacks stay the same. I mean, he, he has those, like, three cycles, basically. The crown fires at you... The swords come out, and then he blows bubbles, fires shockwaves, and, uh, fuck. And, uh, does the ground, uh, ground electricity geyser thing. Alright, come at me. Let's get to level two already. Level two, here we go. Do your thing. Do it again. Thank you. Oh, that was fast. Ooh, almost did the wrong one again. A really bad habit of doing the wrong one. Alright, here comes the bubble. And he's gone, and the swords come out. That's tricky. Uh, that's a little tricky. I was paying too much attention to the swords, and I got iced by the crown. Alright, this for this first phase is a is a joke now. So that's cool. The second phase is kinda just a time killer now. Alright. One more blast, one more blast. Really? I guess it's randomized how many attacks he does. 
was really hoping you would already. There we go. There we go. Oh no! Whew, that was close. That was close. Bubble? Yes. I hate how samey the bosses are. I wish they at least alternated their patterns. Yo, bruh. I don't even know what happened there. The the crown seems to be faster on the second go round than on the first. Or I just wasn't moving. It actually looks like it's about the same speed. It just looks like if you uh, stop moving for a second, that's it. Yeah, it's just if you stop moving for a second, it uh, it gets you. Basically, when the crown is out, you have to be moving non-stop, which of course is hard because the swords are out. Cool, we're already here. Nice. There we go. And here come the swords. And here comes the crown. All right. Do the swords go away? Do this? Yes, they do. Thank God. Thank God. All right, now it's getting tense. The music's picking up because if, <laughs> if I make a mistake, I have to redo it all, don't I? Oh god, why am I so bad? I keep almost killing myself. All right. Everything's getting faster and more scary. All right, all right. Let's keep going. We're so close to the end of this friggin' game. Alright, I can feel the end in sight. I can feel the end credits. They're so close. I, I believe there's probably like three cycles of the crown coming out before he finally dies, and I was on cycle... Was I on cycle three there? I think I was. I gotta just get the colors right. Blue is L trigger. Blue is L trigger. So let's see. Alright, here we go. There we go. It's so easy when you don't mess up the colors <laughs> or jump too early. Alright, give me the bubble. Blast you. Crown level 2. Let's go. Mmm! Mmm! If you just if you stop moving for a second you don't have if you stop moving and start again it will still kill you basically you cannot stop running back and forth as you can see there you just cannot stop running all right well there's only so much more I can die to this before it gets really repetitive, and I just beat it because I have the muscle memory. <laughs> like, the bosses are not dynamic because they don't change up their tactics. They do the exact same thing every time, give or take. Their cycles don't vary. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I literally ran right into the swords there. That was just me being stupid. Whoops. Alright, let's do this. I at least appreciate how the crown comes comes from different sides and stuff like that because uh, the first boss of the game, this this cool robotic bird, which was actually probably my favorite boss fight of the game, um, that bird did everything identically each time. At least here he switches up the sides and sometimes switches up whether he does a shock blast or a ground thing. At least he has that much. Get me in that bubble. Bubbled. Good. Fine. Alright. Phase two. Swords. Come at me. Oh no, not that. Not like that. Not like that though. That was too fast. 
Thumbo on hay. We are at the final boss. I am so close to uh, beating this game. So, so close. I would still recommend to get this game if it's like one or two bucks. Which it often is. But, um... Yeah, it just kind of stops being fun about halfway through, and if you've seen my playthrough of it, you kind of already know how the puzzle system works, so it might not be as fun as if you know nothing about it. Honestly, if you watch this far, I don't know if I'd recommend it. If you never played the game and like puzzle platformers, I would definitely recommend it, but... Yeah. I don't know what happened halfway through. The game just loses its charm. I don't even have to air dash over him, I can just jump. Actually, I don't even have to jump, I can- I just float. Okay. Let's get as close as possible so the crown starts attacking me right away. And here it comes. And, okay. Take two. Take two. Here we go. Oh! Fuck! <sighs> Getting a bit tired of this theme, although it does sound really good when it- oh my god. It does sound really good when um, it gets more intense for the, the second phase, I guess. But uh... Yeah, I'm getting annoyed at this first part of the theme without the extra added intensity. Really just gotta dodge that last second, as last second as possible. And this this one's a joke. This one's just a time waster. Like, I don't... Unless I'm just so careless that I, I just am not paying any attention, it seems almost impossible to die to that one. Alright, do the bubble. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh no! I- ah! So you can't dash instantly, you have like a, about a second to cool down, and I dashed out of the way of the sword. And unfortunately, I didn't have enough cooldown time to actually dash out of the way of the crown's uh, quick attack. Look at my character bobbing his head. Yeah, the D-pad is honestly so much better. I actually feel so stupid for having played... Uh, the whole game with the analog st stick up until now, I should have changed it to D-pad immediately. Like, I am a friggin' idiot for not D-padding it up pronto. Note to self, if I play any puzzle platformers in the future... Oh, wrong color. Woo! Okay. If I play any puzzle platformers in the future, make sure to map movement to D-pad. Alright. Here we go. Swords. Crown. Sword crown. Now it's going all the way through. Whew, okay. Phew, that was actually uh, a little scary. Alright, I like I like the part where the, the part where the music is right now, I like this. I like this part of the music. This extra added intensity is fun. Alright, bubble. Does it a lot faster this time the slash. And here we go, swords again. Swords are moving faster. Oh, no, 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 no! Fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> yeah, this is a puzzle platformer. I got fire. I caught fire once. This is a puzzle platformer through and through. It is as much puzzles that is, as it is pl platforming, or when you're not platforming, it's, it's execution of the button presses, yeah, I guess. It feels kind of like old school Mega Man did in many ways, but uh, less fun. And I don't even like Mega Man that much, to be honest. I don't know, for some reason those games never clicked with me. Um, 
And it would be fun if it wasn't just so goddamn repetitive, but... Yeah. Like, Souls bosses get repetitive if you're dying to Souls bosses over and over and over, of course, but, um... They never stop feeling fun. This stopped feeling fun a while ago. It's not feeling like it's sure yet, I gotta say. Um, but, like, I'm very neutral to this experience right now, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. <sighs> I didn't move in time. I'm getting worse. I'm getting worse. I really hope that um, the third time the crown comes out and tries to blast you with the swords out, I really hope that's the final time. I really hope there's not a fourth time, because woof. Already? Okay. I'll take it. Bubble me up, fam. Thank you. Alright, get the crown out here. Get it out here. I cornered myself! I fucking cornered myself! And had I zapped, I would have zapped into the sword. Great, great. Just awesome. Awesome. And I wasn't paying attention that time. Alright, hold on. Souls games are fun just because um, Souls game bosses also have phases, but the thing is they alternate their attacks a lot more. Plus, there's obviously more ability of movement. There's more ability of position your, positioning yourself on the stage. Like, there's just a lot more variability in Souls. I honestly think a better question might be like, what might make a, a Mega Man boss fight fun, but this one not? And again, I think it's just... The main thing about this fight that's not fun is the fact that the attacks repeat, like, so consistently. It's like, from my understanding, it's what a lot of people hated about Meat Boy bosses, like Super Meat Boy. Um, is that a lot of the, the bosses, it's just memorize a, a pattern and just execute the pattern, irregardless of, like, responding to stimuli. This guy, at least, he changes, he changes it up a little bit, honest. Like, he goes to different sides, he does, um, he can do the sword swipe, the geysers... Um, or just the sword swipe, you know, from different signs and whatnot. But like, for the most part, you're still like repeating. It's like it's it's just it's just base repetition and nothing mu nothing much else. And I think that's the main problem. Is like I I know exactly what to expect, and at times it just changes sides, but it doesn't feel like you have to react on the fly. That 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 feeling that you're not reacting on the fly to oh my god. The other thing, of course, is that, you know, in most Souls games, you don't die in one hit. You die in two hits. In this game, if you died in two hits, it'd be way too easy. But dying in one hit makes it really frustrating. <laughs> God damn it. I'm not getting any better. Getting better at this part right here, but that's about it. Like, I'm so bored, I'm just fucking around to kill time. Blue, blue, blue! <sighs> Doing a little check checking which... Oh. I'm sorry, I, I was just not- I was not zoned in yet. I was zoned out. But yeah, checking which colors killed me that time. I should've- I sh I don't know what happened there. I was moving the whole time too. I think I tried to turn around and that little pivot time killed me. But yeah, uh, I probably shouldn't have changed my controls so late at the final boss because I'm still getting used to my new controls. <laughs> Okay, so red is right. Red is right! How is that so hard to remember? Red is right, blue is left, L is in blue, like, that should be easy. 
I should be able to remember that pretty easily. Alright, please tell me you're gonna... Yeah, there we go. Bubble me. I'm ready. He didn't do the Spongebob bring it around town technique, which is why he lost. Oh, that was that was kind of close there. Whoo, okay, that was uh, that was a little freaky. It was a little scary there. Whew, okay. Do the thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the bubble. Bubble me up. All right. Here's where I die every time. Here we go. Oh my god, the crown didn't even- <laughs> I thought the crown would at least get over my head, but the swords move too fast. Oh. That change in pace is really hard to get used to, because you, you get trained for certain speeds on these things, and then the next phase just doubles the speed, like straight up doubles. Those swords are straight up moving twice as fast on, the, on that next phase. Whew. Blow me. That sounds awkward. <laughs> All right. This this should be this should be simple. I'm not holding forward anymore, so I don't have forward momentum on it, and I don't seem to need it. As you can see, I don't seem to need forward momentum at all. I haven't seen this in a while. He's been skipping this. I hope he doesn't do the sword blasts again. Okay, good. He didn't. Alright. Bubble time. And here we go. Here's the difficulty. Here it comes. I pivoted. I did the pivot again. If you pivot like that, you're dead. You can't change directions until the blast happens. You pivot at the wrong time, you're dead. Fucking dead. Come on. Let's get to the hard part already. Let's get to this hard part. I'm sick and tired of this part of the fight. Thank you. We got to that pretty quick. Alright. Blow me a bubble. Blow me a bubble. Thank you. <sighs> come on now. Come on. And here you go. All the way around. Cool. At least I'm consistently getting to this part. Alright. Geysers? Geysers indeed. I don't know what to call that other than a geyser. I'll just call it an electric geyser, because I got nothing else. Oh, again with the sword slashes? Come on. Come on. You're just You're just buying time. <laughs> we all know the part I die on. It's the next part. All right, here we go. Here we go. I did it! I fucking did it. Let's see if I die here. <laughs> Let's see if I die here. I hope this is the last time I have to do this. Oh my god. Pressure, the pressure, I feel the pressure. Never felt a pressure like this. Except in Souls and tons of other games, Monster Hunter and whatnot. It's just I don't—I really don't want to repeat everything. Oh God. Okay. Can you imagine if I die from the geyser? Like the easiest attack of them all. Okay. Got him. Bubble me. Bubble me up. Is there more to you? 
Oh, damn. The crown is literally consuming him. Should I pick that up? Yo, I would not pick that up. He, um, he just... He just got absorbed into the crown. I would not be picking that up. So yeah, here's the other problem with the game. As you can tell, I'm not very excited about having overcome that battle because I was not invested and I wasn't really enjoying it. Look at that fucking cat. That cat is... That cat has a gold statue of itself. Holy shit. Wow. Um... Yeah, anyway, I just wasn't enjoying that fight and I knew exactly how it goes. There's that 36 scrolls mystery thing again. I wonder what it does. Not finding out myself, gonna definitely look up a YouTube video of it. Alright, come on little child, can you move those little legs faster, please? Are you contemplating on whether you should wear that crown? Because I'm pretty sure you shouldn't. And if you're not contemplating on that, just throw it into the wind already. Actually, you know what? Don't throw it. Some random citizen's gonna pick it up and they're gonna go and- DON'T THROW IT INTO- Bruh, I, I know you want to do like the, the Tom Cruise thing from that one gif, you know, where he's on the ship and he throws something like valiantly off the ship and people like Photoshop stuff onto that, like uh, like Street Fighter Cross Tekken, for example, the, the video game case, he throws that into the ocean. Um, don't throw it into the forest below. What if some like poor person or poor squirrel gets corrupted by the power of the crown. Bro, you could have just left it in the treasury and then just like sealed the tower off with your new electric powers or whatever, like, whatever. All right. Ugh. I mean, at least the sun is fun for the credits. It's, they're pretty cute credits, I'll give it that. The game was a blast on the first two streams I did for it. Um, and then the, the... As soon as you hit the third boss... There's four bosses. There's the there's a bird, there's a human, there's an orb, and uh, the king. And uh, as soon as you hit that orb, the game just shits itself. Um, the past bosses were also a bit repetitive, but they were still kind of fun. It, plus, they still had the novelty aspect to them. Plus, you were still discovering how all your powers worked. Um... By the time you're at the orb, you have every power, and the orb is by far the worst boss fight. As soon as you beat the orb, and I've been saying this over and over and over, but I'm sorry, I just cannot understand it. They created the most boring boss fight imaginable, in my opinion, for the orb. And then as soon as that boss fight is over, had you not collected enough scrolls, the game forces you to backtrack to find whichever scrolls you missed until you have at least 15. Which, to be fair, 15 out of 36, not a high requirement. But there's no need for any requirement. Why would you, like, why would you force somebody to find this collectible to get to the final boss? It seems so unnecessary. I mean, for plot purposes, um, for plot purposes, I guess it's like, you know, you had to have found out enough about the history, I guess. Like, the scrolls do tell you some mild backstory through the images. So I guess it's like, well, if you haven't collected enough of them, you don't have the backstory. Except, except that there's, like, puppet shows throughout the game that also detail the history of what happened. And the scrolls, surprisingly, add very little detail. They add very little. They're not necessary. So, like, I, I mean, uh, okay, I, I get, like, maybe if you collect them, it shows that you're a, 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 you're a follower, you're... You're part of this cult. I'm just gonna call him a cult. This, this electric cult, you're part of it if you have at least some of the scrolls and know the history. Um, but that little bit of like... That little bit of tying in the game narrative isn't worth the frustration of forcing a player to backtrack if the player doesn't want to backtrack, which I certainly did not want to backtrack. Ugh, okay. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and um, get a different game going. Uh, hold on just a second here. Let's, uh, let's exit out Teslagrad. That has been Teslagrad. Uh, fun game for the first 60 to 70-ish percent of it. Awful experience for the rest, unfortunately. It sours you, and it stays sour, and you beat the game with a bit of a bitter taste in your mouth. The sour, bitter, not greatness despite the wonderful charm of the first part. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, I need to get back on Steam and download something that I want to play next. Probably should have downloaded it in a... Bleh. 
probably should have downloaded it in advance, but I fucked up. What did I say I was playing? I said I was playing Fury, right? I want to play something that's action-paced, so uh, here we go. Let's get Fury going. It's uh, four gigs. It shouldn't take too long, but, you know, it might take like ten minutes to download and install. So, uh, it'll be a little while. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go microwave a pizza. Yeah, Thombo 1, I talked about that. Um, I actually compared this game earlier to Mario 64. And, uh, yeah, ma for, for one, Mario is about finding stars. Finding a star in Mario means you've finished a level. It means you completed one of the levels. In this game, they're, like, hidden collectibles where you have to, um... You either have to... Some of them you have to get a new power and backtrack to that area because otherwise they're inaccessible. But others, you just have to be kind of clever and realize how to get to them. You have to go out of your way to get them. So it's very different in that. Um, the other way they're different from Mario Stars is that... Uh, well, at least for Mario 64 and uh, Mario Sunshine a bit as well, the stars are in Mario Sunshine. What are they called? Like, the, there's something else in Mario Sunshine. I forget. Anyway... The stars, they are um, part of levels that are attached to a hub world. You're in a hub world. You're in a central area. And you go to this thing, and it warps you into the level. And the star is at the end of the level. You know exactly which levels um, you've done and which you haven't. In fact, it displays... Um, yeah, they're not suns. They're like, they're... What are they called? I don't remember, which is a shame, because I love Mario Sunshine. I haven't played it in ages. My, okay, The only thing I hate about Mario Sunshine is that the camera is inverted by default, and at least on the GameCube version, you could not um, set it to regular. Like, you were stuck playing with an inverted camera, so if you hate inverted cameras, better get used to it. But uh, I actually love Mario Sunshine. It's one of my favorite Mario games of all time. I realize it's a very polarizing game, but I love the island aesthetic. Um, and I actually really liked the flood. I really liked the flood gameplay. So I adore Mario Sunshine. But anyway, point is, um, you're in a hub world. You go to a level. You collect the star. If you haven't gotten the star, it it says you don't have it. Like I, f I forget exactly how it displays it in Mario 64, but in Mario Sunshine, you flat out have the little sun things, and they're grayed out if you haven't collected it yet. So you know exactly where you can get more if you're missing some. In this game, if you pass by a scroll and you want to come back to it later, I mean, other than looking it up online, there is no way to pinpoint it. I was saying earlier, you should be able to, like, see the scrolls on your map if you've come across them before but didn't collect them. If you happen to see the scroll on your screen but were not able to get it, it should show up on your map so you can get it later. But no, in this game, that doesn't happen. And it's, you know, it's very old school in that way. It's kind of like how, you know, SNES games are, I guess. But uh, I don't like that at all. Um, so so um, in in a in the Mario sense, it's fine to lock your final boss behind a certain amount of progression markers because of the format of it. The context of it is very different. In this game, I think that's not a good choice at all because I bet you at least fifty percent of the players playing Tesla Grad would be just like frustrated when they reach that final boss area and are like, "Wait, I have to go back and find scrolls? Are you kidding me?" Um, even if, like, 10% of the people are super frustrated with it, that's enough, you know? Like, even if 5% of the people are kind of frustrated, that's enough of a percentage where you really are turning off a lot of people. Um, don't, don't lock away your final boss behind an optional... Or what you... Don't make the player think the scrolls are optional, and then later have the player realize, wait a second, they're not. I need them for the final boss. For, for example, if the very, like, if the very first level had you find a few scrolls, and then in order to open up the second level, you needed a certain amount of scrolls, right at the start of the game, at least we're going in knowing that the scrolls are really important, and you should not pass them up. I was going into this game the whole time thinking the scrolls are entirely optional until the last bit, so, yeah. Okay, the download's pretty close to being done. I'm going to go ahead and microwave my pizza, like I said. I'll be right back. And uh, if any of you, I guess, are watching this on YouTube, this moment right here is probably where I'm going to cut the video um, and end the Tesla Grad playthrough. 
And then the next cut will be Fury. So uh, thanks for watching the Tesla Grad playthrough. Uh, don't know if I'd recommend the game. If you watched my playthrough, don't get it, because really there's no point at this point. If for some reason you're in this part of the video, and I don't know why, and you missed most of my playthrough, do get the game if it's like a dollar or two, because it is really fun at first. Alright, see ya. Gonna eat pizza.